Hey everybody, it's Bob Boob. I know this dorky guy here is Bob Boob. Hey, I'm doing a video tour here on a place up Pine Creek. Pine Creek. Here you can see this is Pine Creek over here. Beautiful, what they call the gateway to Pine Creek right here. I'm on Route 44 North here. Now the house I'm actually at is 3130 Route 44. You can see here there's actually, we call them the triplets. There's three houses here that are nearly the same look um but uh, this is the middle one so it has a stone veneer look to it then a little front porch here now when you uh we're going to take you in here the front door but what's kind of funny is you really well actually you know what? i'm just going to show you how this would really work so this is the front of the house so here we're facing yeah we'd be facing west towards lock haven this would be north this would be south so we come around here now, this is really the door here the side door that you'd use when you come up this driveway here you pull up the driveway kind of the rear of the house and where that super cool awesome soccer mom minivan is this is all your parking area then you have back in there it looks like they're I was told they used to have a horse up there years ago but then here's the back of the house now a couple nice features here you're going to see it's got a newer metal roof and big 200 amp electric service but uh yeah this is up up pine creek pine creek about, eh, about three miles up hence the address 3130 the way it's supposed to work is your address is supposed to be close to about where 220 got the pine creek exit it's about three three and a half miles up on the right hand side did you know that with addresses yeah i did that years ago with the 911 change so a couple things here i guess to point out to you guys uh here you have a beautiful you know living room with a beautiful mountain stone fireplace i'm assuming the stones were probably coming off the mountain here then but it's a uh, kind of an interesting one here they used a piece of quartz right there is kind of as, as the is the keystone now that is a wood stove insert i believe yeah wood stove insert yeah i don't see any shakers so it's not coal um looks like the windows are mainly double pane they do have look at this mm -hmm. flippy dippy windows for easy cleaning and of course here as i spin got a big open staircase taking you upstairs and i kind of went through the kitchen quickly but you've got a big open eden kitchen so yeah, typically, you know, big table here then. Um, of course, you need to supply your own appliances. Now, this at one time was used as a bedroom, but you can see they opened it up and then it became a dining room. So I guess, do you need a bedroom or a den, workout area? More importantly than you need a dining room, this room could maybe be used different ways. And then as we spin here, just kind of show you how things are going. There's a couple different type of buyers that I'm, thinking for this i guess the one like the current couple they lived lived here year round and they ended up uh getting a different house bigger house to move into maybe you're looking this is a second home pine creek is a so here's our first first floor bedroom pine creek is obviously a very popular area with out of town folks so this could work good for this as well so you can see here at the tile bathroom new vanity uh tub right there of course there that's the back towards the parking area and this is just a big big storage shelf right there matter of fact we got the basement door open let's go down and look in the dungeon real quick okay i'm looking for spiders i haven't seen any yet but let's see we got a bunch of things going on over here then okay so here's your electric hot water heater so this is the back of the house towards the parking area this is the south side of the house going down the creek now this has what they call a shallow well because you have a pump right here. I think those pumps are usually 75 to 125 feet. I'm sorry, I'm doing this off my brain, but ask a good plumber, they know more than I do. Expansion tank. Of course they run a dehumidifier down here and I just let that drain into the drain there. Let's see here, what else can I show you guys here? Go around here. This was actually like a, like a workshop area. That's where you see the shelves all set up and everything. The owner's getting this all cleaned out now. So it doesn't have a garage, but this is a nice area for, you know, like a workshop or tinkering. I think the shelves are going to stay. I guess, I guess I'll have to ask and double check on that. Isn't this the most beautiful 
brick they used in the uh, foundation work here then. I was told that one of the original owners or near owners years ago, I guess used to work for um, a brick company. So he was able to get that kind of brick cheap. It's a oil force taut air furnace. Um, and then over here is the oil tank. And then right here is your current setup for your washer dryer. That's another thing I thought for that upstairs room there where that dining room is. Could also make a good spot to put a first floor laundry. So if you're looking for a house with first floor living, then you can have a bath, laundry, bedroom, all on the first floor. So that's just some of my ideas. So that's the dungeon. We did good. Didn't see any spiders. All right, hold on. Let's go upstairs and look around. Okay, so these are the steps I came up from the living room. And here, we're going to turn this way. So the south end of the house. Here's one of the bedrooms. As you might be at a guess, this was a little person's bedroom with all the cool animal stickers. Not that us big people wouldn't like stickers of animals on walls. I might have to get some of these for my own bedroom. But again, newer windows up here too, the thermal closet area. And then we come around to the north end of the house and we have another bedroom. So again, same thing with double windows. It's got the, you know, it's a country look house. We're up here in the mountains of Pine Creek. So if you have questions on financing, I don't know, maybe you have a house to sell, you need a value on that, just let me know. But lots of different financing options. Some have good rates, some have low downs. Actually, there's a couple no money down loans that are out there right now. But let's see, I showed you the outside, the downstairs. Guys, I think that's it. It's been nice hanging out with you. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to me. Then we'd be honored to help you at Century 21 First Choice Realty. Thank you.